Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get Cinema HD application to your Fire Stick or Android TV. That's an app that a lot of people use to watch newest movies or TV shows online and totally for free. That's the main reason why this app is even better than Netflix. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get Cinema HD to your device. First of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. Just go to search on your device and the search bar start typing the loader. As you can see, there was even no need to enter whole name of the app because the loader already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on the loader and that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. So to set up the loader, we gotta go to settings. Let's do it right now. Click on that button with the gear icon then scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Open it. Here we'll have to enable developer options for your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Sticks, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, do not worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times. And do it fast. So let's do it. As you can see, now the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which just appeared right here. So open them, make sure to enable 8 bit bugging, then go to install unknown apps. From here, we'll have to locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now finally let's go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, open it. And there you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast. We got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server. Let's say we'll connect to Denmark right now. And from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code which you can see on the screen right now with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now finally let's use the loader safely. So we gotta go to the list of apps on your device, open up the downloader, then on the left side menu, it's very important that you click on home and not on browser. So once again, make sure to click on home, and then here in that search bar, we gotta enter a code, which is going to be 2890 and 7. So once again, the code is 28907, and then you have to click on go. And while the website is loading, Make sure to subscribe my channel so you would get even more content about Fire Sticks, as well as please hit the like button below this video. It truly helps me a lot and this way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. Now when the website has loaded, we just have to scroll down a bit until we see a list of categories. And from the list of categories, we have to click on Movies and TV, so click on it. And when the list of apps opens, just scroll down a bit until you find Cinema HD right here. So we click on it, then an ad might open up for you. If it does pop up, don't worry, and just click on Close to close down the ad. So click on Close, 
and now a new web page should open up for us. There it is, we have to scroll this page down as well. Keep scrolling until you see that download button right here, let's click on it, and in a couple of moments the download is going to start. Usually that doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. Then you have to click on install and wait until Cinema HD gets installed to your Fire Stick. After that, don't click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way it will be able to delete the installation file, as we don't need it anymore on your device, so click on delete, and this way we save you some free space. Now finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device, there it is, scroll down to the very bottom, and here you'll find Cinema HD, which we just downloaded. Now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way Cinema HD is always going to be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time needed. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.